The kingdom shall stand or fall, depending on how quickly we can get them equipped and back into the field. The challenge is far from over. But there is time! There is time to reconstruct our defences. We have only to focus on the west, which is going to save us a little bit of time, although sadly our recruiting fields, our breeding fields, are of course all in the east. Um, I think men are probably going to be not a huge problem. We've got a lot of men coming in from the outer realms uh, at the moment who have been re-recruited or recruited for the first time. Look, we've got a whole going a whole shiny gold coin. Once again, this king, mightiest king of the realm, is left with a single gold coin. I'm not even going to spend it to recruit that guy because I don't think we need guys as much as we need coins right now. I, I, I'm feeling the lightness of my coin purse and it vexes me, it vexes me mightily for I am a king and I must have coins. Why are there no coins for me in the fields? You there farmers, get to work, make coins for your king. I think we only have three working farmers at the moment, which is not ideal. Look, there we go, there's some coins. Grab the coins. Anyone else want to quickly farm up some coins for your king? It's, it's D12. We need to re-establish ourselves before the next blood moon and ideally we need to try and destroy the enemy gate before the next blood moon so that we do not have to rebuild once again. Day 25 that would be. The day 25 blood moon. It's, it's coming fast. Look the sun is already setting on day 22 and you have not produced very much gold this day. Men of the, men of the realm. Men of the kingdom, must I just stand here and watch you constantly and berate you for your lack of coin making? Look, there's some at least. Um, we can go and buy ourselves some more farmers because I think what is critical now is that we rapidly rebuild our economy and get ourselves back in shape to be able to replenish our losses fast when they happen. Oh, look, we can only afford one farmer. Um, I need another coin. Anyone out here? Are there any hunters in the forest who may have coins for me? Uh, or, or perhaps... Perhaps some of the farmers have farmed up something new. I think the sun is still sort of technically up, isn't it? It's, it's just a bit stormy. Or has night actually come upon us? I'm not sure. Let's let Doris have a feed. And then we will ride out, uh, get another coin, hire at least one more farmer, make sure our economy is, is growing again. We really have to try and take precautions to protect the farmers so that we don't just lose them all again in the next blood moon or, uh, or something. Because I think... Are we going to be able to launch another attack? Frankly, I'm not sure. There we go. Look, let's get another farmer. That's good. Five farmers should be enough to keep a nice, healthy flow of capital coming into the king's coffers. We still have a shiny coin. Let Doris have another feed. Come, Doris. Let us ride out to the west and see what needs to be done out here. How do our defenses stand? We've got a few archers uh, manning the towers. This is obviously a good thing. That farm is completely unoperated at the moment. It's just been abandoned. Here we have some minions attacking. That's fine. I'm sure our soldiers can can take this easily. We do have a we do have a full complement there, so we can probably launch a fresh attack. But we will need the coins for that, which um, is currently the problem. We need more coins. You there, farmers, make more coins for me. Um, there's not much point in me sort of hanging around. I think I'm just going to gallop about until somebody gives me a big stack of coins. Do you understand me? Uh, look, I've only got one coin, and we've got two guys that need re-recruiting. For some reason, how did they lose their coins? Frankly, I've got no idea. Maybe they got hit by the, the, the catapult or something. Or indeed, maybe they were eaten by those evil flying creatures who beset us uh, now potentially every night. In fact, if they are coming every night, that's quite a worry, because the only way to deal with them is to bring them down with our archers. So we're going to need more archers. Uh, we still need more coins. That We've got loads of guys milling around who don't have equipment yet. Look, we can, we can get one more archer, potentially. Uh, let's grab another archer then. You can go out and hopefully you're going the wrong way. Don't don't go out that way. We really don't need more archers on the east. Just come, in, come to the west. All right, fine. We're just going to have to accept that half of our archers are going to pointlessly wander off to the um, to the east and, and hang out there. Oh yeah, by the way, just a little side point that I have realized that um, in this world apparently the sun rises in the west and, and sets in the east. So, um, you know, I just thought I'd point that out before anyone else did. Uh, as king, I am free to declare that that is the truth and the way of things and, uh, and therefore everyone has to simply accept it and move on because 
everybody knows, right, that west is left and east is right. That's just that's just an accepted fact. Look at all the coins. Yes, finally the farmers are starting to produce coins once again. And our coin purse is beginning to refill and feel more like the weighty coin purse that a king should possess. If indeed the uh, the flying things are a bit of a problem for us, then it might make sense to keep the archer shrine topped up. That might give us the best protection against it, because if it makes our archers more effective and more accurate, then we can we can kill those things out of the sky before they get too far in and cause us any more problems. So let's do that. We'll ride out to the archer shrine. Um, or we'll just sort of like keep an idea, keep an eye on what's going on out here as well. Oh look, it's the traveler from the east. You there, take the king's coin. Actually, we kind of need everything right now. So although I would normally advise against getting the traveler later in the game like this, as it turns out, actually, it's going to be good for us. And uh, and hopefully he can bring many fine things. Uh, I suppose probably the least useful thing would be builders. Um, and then, frankly, I think actually even farmers would be fine right now. It would create kind of like a minion shield, like a farming minion shield to protect our inner farm and uh, and give something for those evil sky things to uh, to grab and carry away, which wouldn't be the wouldn't be the end of the world. And if it didn't, if they didn't succeed in doing it, then we would have more coins than we could possibly imagine, which is of course ultimately what all kings dream of. Um, but that is not something that we need to worry about just now. It's going to take him a while to wander down and we need to make sure that we're, um, we're well enough protected. We've got lots of coins coming in here, have we? Well, we've got a few coins anyway. Not as many as I would like, but, uh, but it's still fine. It's okay. We, we can cope with that. We can totally cope with that. Out here on the western flank, how's it looking? You're still holding this little wall here. That's good. That's fine. I suppose we need to think about pushing forward. We might have enough coins to be able to push forward tomorrow. Oh, we could. We could launch the attack. What would it be? Day 24, I think? Day 23? Day 24? Something like that. We could launch our attack and perhaps, perhaps, perhaps steal the march on our foes. Destroy them before they have a chance to to send another blood moon against us. Look, look even the regular knights are pretty hefty. Look at that. Look how many minions there are quite a number but it should be it should be easy enough for our archers to deal with them for they have no trolls and it seems they have no flying things either which is good unless the flying things already grabbed a bunch of archers and, and left let's not worry about that right now though I think I think we're gonna order the attack I think again our last gambit kind of paid off admittedly the Empire has only really just barely recovered and we're still arguably a little bit weak on the economy although hopefully the traveler from the east will fix that it is day 14 the day before the day of the next blood moon. We've got a little bit of time. It does mean if we launch the attack now um, and we fail and we only have to repel the counterattack and then we'll have a day to recover a little bit of our defenses before the blood moon. It's, it is a gamble. There's no doubt about it. It would probably be more sensible to wait out after the next blood moon. But if we can possibly destroy that gate before the next blood moon, then... I think we are in a, well, well, we will have won. We will have secured the crown. All will be well. The kingdom will be made safe. If we have to ride out the next blood moon, then all remains uncertain. For the next blood moon will be most terrible indeed. Um, and with our forces splitting towards the east and the west, and with all of our farms sadly being on the west, we are in, we are in a vulnerable position. If, if the west gets breached, or if enough of those flying creatures get through and eat all of our farmers again, then we will struggle to raise the coin that we need to raise our armies and crush the enemy, which is the problem we have had since the last Blood Moon, basically. Um, I'm I'm still a little bit worried, however, that these, that these brave men have quite a long march ahead of them. Come men, men of the realm, men of your king, you must march faster than this. Your little legs must carry you into the darkness of this great wood with more haste if we wish to make it to the gate, the enemy gate. By nightfall, before nightfall actually, if we make it there by nightfall as night is falling, um, then as it is the only gate, we are assured that an attack will come from it. And you of course are, you know, you're not behind a wall right now. You've got, you've got the, the knights who may be able to hold them for a time, but I fear, I fear that that will be too great for us to contend with. How far actually is the enemy gate? Look, it's quite a long way. Look, it's past this clearing and there it is. So if this attack does fail, I think we might have to think about moving our, our front line quite a bit further forward than it is right now. Uh, possibly even all the way to this clearing if we can find a good spot to set up the wall. Um, all we really need, 
all we really need is just just to be a little bit closer to that gate so that there is more of the day left how much is the day left i can't really see because we're in the forest right now um the 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 sun is up there somewhere i think it may be sinking towards the horizon on the eastern side setting in the east as all suns do Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. Faster for your king. March on. Charge. Charge the enemy gate. Charge them before they can spawn upon you. Your king demands it. Your king will accept nothing less. Ah, oh, it's too late, man. Look, they're spawning. Fight them. Fight them and destroy them. Hold them back. Don't let them take you. Oh, I, they're not going to hold them. They are not going to hold. The knights have failed. The attack has failed. The gambit has failed. I think perhaps... Fortunately, it may be that that's just the regular knight attack, and we haven't actually triggered a counter-attack, a bulk counter-attack, which is good. It means that we'll hold, like, much more easily tonight. I, at least I hope that that's the case. Look, all of these archer towers are up and secure, which is fine. They're going to hold and, uh, and hopefully manage to whittle down that attack almost completely before it gets in. We have no one defending the walls whatsoever, though, so if they do get through and they breach those walls... There's nothing to stop them from getting all the way to here. There's literally nothing. To, after that row of archer towers, there is nothing to stop them. Doris, come. We must ride back to the keep and rapidly... Look, okay, look, we've got lots of gold. We've had like a whole day of gold production. That's good. We must get back to the keep and we must hire lots of archers. All of the archers and, of course, more knights, actually. That's probably the first thing to do. More knights. Don your king's armor, knights of the realm. The last knights, they failed us, and uh, they shall be chastised mightily should they ever be recovered and returned to the realm. Uh, if we're able to return a shiny coin to them and thus mesmerize them into our service once more. It looks like we actually do need more personnel as well. Look, here we go. Both of you, back to join the king's armies. You two as well. Onward, join the king's armies. It is a blood moon tonight. It's day 15. Day 15 has dawned, and we are not in a good shape for, for contending with this Blood Moon. I'm not even sure if, if anyone that we, like, equip now will make it to the western flank before nightfall. It's, it's such a long way for their little legs to carry them. Um, look, see, they haven't even made it. They haven't even made it to the archer thing to pick up some of the bows that I created yet. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. We have put ourselves in a dangerous position right now. The kingdom once again stands upon the edge of a knife. It basically is just in a perpetual state of balancing upon the edge of a knife. Uh, and if we stray but a little, then it shall fail to the ruin of all. I think we probably need some builders. That may well be part of our problem as well. Let's just get like all of the builders in. We should probably try and ride out and re-recruit. Some of the guys we lost in the west, if we have a chance. I, we're not going to have a chance before sunset, I think. So it will probably have to wait till tomorrow. Assuming we are able to survive this blood moon, this night's blood moon. At least we've got all those archer towers. Like, that's something. We've got all the archer towers to hold the line. And um, and generally... Oh, look. They actually were shooting at the, at the deer. I didn't think they did that. I'm sure they didn't used to do that. Maybe they've realized that the kingdom is uh, in a bit of a dire state and, you know, the coffers are sorely taxed and our soldiers are being um, sent on missions which ultimately have led to their demise um, in a particularly unsatisfactory way. Doesn't look like we suffered much of an attack here, though. The, the counterattack, I don't think, came. All of you, you guys, oh, yeah, get back to the east. Uh, get back to the kingdom. You may well have time to get there before the night falls. Um, I'm just going to leave like a massive coin trap of of coins to try and like buy off a substantial portion of the uh, of the blood moon attack because let's face it I think we're going to need it we're going to need every advantage we can get better that they take a single coin uh, than you know like a builder's hammer or an archer's bow or worst of all a farmer's hoe. The farmer's hoe. What is mightier? The hoe or the sword? Well, we don't actually have swords. Apart from, I suppose, the... Oh, where did he come from? Is that the attack? The attack is coming already. The blood moon is coming already. Quick, get back behind the gates. Back behind the walls, men. Is that the full attack? Or is that just like... Is that just like one guy? I'm not sure what happened. Maybe I tempted them out of the gate by laying a whole load of gold coins. Well, that would be bad, wouldn't it? There it is. The blood moon rises. Day 25. Our kingdom has stood long and has grown vast and wide. 
and verdant and bountiful. Our farms produce mightily. Our coins are minted daily. But are we strong enough to face the ever-growing tide of darkness that threatens to overwhelm us every fifth night? This is the this is the night of truth. This is the night of telling. If we come out of this night well enough, if our defenses have held, if the farms remain intact, and most importantly, if the soldiers still man the walls, then we stand a chance. Sadly, I think that is probably quite unlikely. I suspect that our outer defenses will have been crushed. We may have lost the farms. I'm not entirely sure. Um, we've got a few coins out here. That's good. We're probably going to need men as well, so we'll recruit a couple more guys. You there, minions! Minions who have yet to gaze upon the king's shiny coin. Take it and sell your soul to me. Leave your women folk. Join my armies and ride with me as we march once more against the night to win or die. Mm -hmm. Stick your sword blade through another monkey. The more we have to go in the pot, frankly, the better. Aggressive victory. We have dominated our opponents. Uh, does, this have, does this, like, double up? I don't know. Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. The blue monkey and his friends stop taunting you and are slowly leaving the area. No, don't. Don't. Get them. Get them and eat them. 